joining. I appreciate you coming back to the channel. I appreciate you tuning back in. Something I'm doing is keeping you entertained and I just want to do more of it. Uh, I'm gonna be out on the back side of uh, Estero Bay in like the Hendry Creek area, fishing these uh, dark waters, kind of brackish waters today. But um, my goal is to get on a, on a slam. I want to get a slam and hopefully catch a tarpon uh, in the interim or any bonus fish. I want to get some good quality fish and hopefully show you guys how I do it. Hopefully I'll be able to get you guys on fish that I've been able to find. And uh, if I can do it, any of you can do it. Um, without further ado, let's get to fishing. This will be a great video because I know that we're going to catch some big fish. Positive expectation. Oh, that was a mighty shot. Oh, something hit it. Oh, got him. Got him. Oh, man, that was perfect. Let's see what that is. Oh, he's got some fight in him. Oh, yes. He's got some fight in him. Ooh, a snook. Nice. I knew. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome show, buddy. Thank you. Thank you for being the one that skinked that. Thank you for being the one that kicked the skunk off the boat. Look at that right there. Beautiful snook. Oh, man. That was an awesome catch. I shot right in that little cove right there. He just came out and followed it. Thank you, buddy. Hold on. Give me a second here. I'll get you off. There you go. Nice safe release. Let's go. He's out. <laughs> awesome catch. Yeah. Oh, that's money. Oh, 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 oh. Something hit it. Something hit it. Got it. Got it. Got it. That was perfect. See, they're right against the mangrove, just waiting for the bait to come. This has got to be another snook. That was excellent. Yep, another snook. Perfect. See, these are the kind of snook that pretty much anybody could uh, catch. Whoa, 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 whoa. There he is. Go ahead and take a look at him. We're not going to put him to, through too much stress. But yeah, that's a little 12 inch, 14 inch snook. But um, they're fun to catch. And uh, there he is. Thanks for the catch, buddy. Go for it. Have a nice day. Yeah, boy. this section now and then we're gonna move over to that section over there it's got like this little inlet oh got one oh what I got nice trout oh nice trout look at that oh and he fell right off of the boat good job Oh, look at that beautiful trout, yes, beautiful trout, beautiful, beautiful trout. We're not going to harvest today, just came to have fun. See you later, buddy. Yes. Ooh, I'm off. 
how beautiful red. Beautiful red. Sorry for the disrupted footage. I have my life jacket on, but I got him. I got him, but yes. So I got him on the Twitch Reaper. Beautiful red fish. We'll go ahead and get the official measure on him in just a second here. But we're gonna put him back in the water. Um, he's a big guy. He fought really hard. I thought it was a big jack to be honest because of how hard he was fighting and, and pulling but then again his tugs were really solid and not really head shaky but he was just tugging so when they're tugging you usually know that uh that it's a redfish but this is what i caught him on savage gear twitch reaper i really love how versatile it is really really good uh Really good artificial bait in my opinion. Let's go ahead and uh, lift this guy. I just bought these today because I had lost my other ones. But let's go ahead and let him uh, breathe a little bit. Definitely got some action going on right now. We're gonna let him breathe. We're gonna get a measure on him. Always keep these tied onto you for that reason right there. Let him get some air. Redfish caught on the uh, Savage Gear Twitch Reaper. Beauty. Absolute beauty. All he's doing is a Twitch Twitch pause. Yeah, he's uh, he's 26 inches. Beautiful, healthy red. I love these things. Majestic, absolutely majestic. Go ahead and get the release on this bad boy. Just let him let him kick off and. He'll go straight to the bottom. There he is. Nice catch. Basically doing here, I've never fished this uh, this one particular spot before, but if you guys notice, all that current is coming through these, uh, these little channels that are created here by these mangroves. So it's pushing all the bait here. Bait is stopping right around this area. So the predator is gonna be waiting right around here, um, just waiting for all that bait to push in and all this moving water so this is why I chose this spot and this is typically what I look for um, you could either be on, on that side of it casting this way but I like bringing it I like my bait working with the current um, but you can also work with the wind against your back shooting to the to the front side of that mangrove but um yep that's the uh, that's the method behind the madness at least what I figured out works a lot of times so there it is I didn't do that again Sunny, this Twitch Reaper, man, I, I love it. It works so well. And all I'm doing is twitching it, stopping it. Oh, got another one. Oh, that was a snook. Oh, oh, that's a nice snook too. Yes, that was a nice eat. I felt that, that was perfect. That was a perfect eat. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's 
feisty. No, he dropped it. Ah, oh, he dropped it. Snook. Come on. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Landed snook, baby. Yes. There we are. Beautiful Florida back country snook see how they're darker that's the lateral line right there got them right in the mouth all right so that's gonna do it for me today i had a quick little session located some fish i hope i showed you guys how to locate them too and uh, it was great thank you so much for coming um i'll see you guys back here mambo scales out baby <laughs>